these four tips will help you make not only twenty thousand dollars but thirty forty fifty thousand dollars all these tips are will culminate into a greater momentum a greater impact on your brand your clothing brand and everything else in your life but do do keep in mind that being an entrepreneur is hard. Being a clothing brand is hard. This is not going to make you some magically money. It's going to float from the sky. No. None of this is going to float from the sky or come from a tree or whatever you want to think of. Or whatever you want to call it. These tips are extremely, extremely helpful for clothing brand owners. Which is videos orientated towards. But any entrepreneur, any business owner, whatever you are chasing like some type of degree or business or job or goal. All these things, all these tips can apply to those as well. As always, I recommend taking notes. Notes will help you in every category of your business, life, and aspects above. Okay, tip number one, research and skills. What do I mean by research and skills? Do your research on clothing brands and everything else, your competitors, your niche, your target audience, manufacturer, goals, etc., vocabulary, just all those things will help you in terms of every category and every step of your stage of your businesses and even your clothing brand. Um, vocabulary like tech pack and you know my niche like oh I want to create from you know I want to create streetwear clothing but that has like only hoodie streetwear clothing and then like your target audience I want to go from 18 to 24 for both genders you know I me mean? whatever you're searching for your manufacturer it could be from pakistan china usa what goals for example is there a certain amount of money you want to reach is there a certain amount of sales you want to reach you know I mean customer service customer service is very important research your customer service you're going to need to know how to interact uh smm programs and all those other stuff then this also relates to researching skills and building skills of course, you will build skills along the way. You will learn along the way. That is just part of the journey. That is just part of the process. It's always good to have a decent foundation or even a strong foundation, um, whether that's more of a time commitment or was that more of skill building from right from the get go. Some skills that you can try to build that will help in all businesses, including clothing brands, will be build discipline, learning how to stay consistent, time management, learning how to control your emotions and reactions. For example, sometimes the collection you'll drop won't be like amazing. Maybe you won't get enough sales or maybe you don't make enough money or, or barely any profit your first year. If you truly, truly are dedicated, you have to control your reactions. You have to control your emotions and realize that this is just part of the process. This is your first year. It took me. It took me five and a half years to finally become successful in my clothing brand. There's a six months left of the year now. So five and a half years now. Damn. Five and a half years. Five and a half years. I've been an entrepreneur for seven. So technically it's seven and a half years for me. But for five and a half years for my clothing brand. And these things take time. Those skills take time. That uh, ability to recognize that sometimes it just doesn't go your way takes time. People will always say, yeah, I understand that. I understand that. But once you feel that feeling that your clothing collection didn't sell, you're, you're, you've been working eight months hard everything no social media presence no nothing it can really really put you down on the dumps trust me uh, other skills will be designing skills for example if you're designing your clothing and stuff like that there's a bunch of tools these days highly recommend using tools tools will make it way easier for example you got a bunch of tools like pay subscription tools and then you have AI tools to help you with your designing process but I highly recommend still trying to build a decent decent uh, designing skill just for the fact that you can control some of the situation that's going on so it's not 100% reliant on tools or AI or whatever you're using for example and then this is a big one marketing skills marketing skills is a amazing amazing skill that will help in all businesses which is pretty self-explanatory but what people don't understand is that for certain businesses and brands marketing has always been playing a marketing always plays a big part in any business or brand but where the problem what I see with a lot of clothing brand owners is like they'll go straight into the go like they'll build the brand everything like that but their marketing skills suck so they have to develop it along the way and some of them do make it but most of them do not you have to figure out what works for your brand and everything else when it comes to marketing building marketing skills is highly highly recommended when you're starting up before you even build the brand before you even build the brand I highly recommend not only doing your research but doing some form of practice with uh your marketing skills because i never did that and i wish i did because 
not only would it help me later down the line, but I was stuck in so many situations where I was just spending money, unnecessary money, just because my marketing skills sucked. I had to hire someone to market skills and they were straight trash. I get, I got nothing from that hire ship, from that freelancer, the SEO expert. I got straight up nothing for that. And I spent so much money throughout the months trying to, you know what I mean, work it out with him and stuff like that. Because he gave me all these false promises and stuff like that. You, that doesn't have to be you. You have to be smarter. You have to be better. You have to do everything better. Um, you don't want to go through something like that. Now that's a very monotone look towards it because a lot of people don't have funding for it, but I did had a decent amount of funding when I started off. Not because I did all this craziness or, or anything like that. I actually did work for my stuff. Figure you or uh, ignore my family photos. But um, this, all these uh, trophies and stuff like that and everything else, those are just more of the, the beginner ones, the ones that started my journey off. But later down the line, I did win a lot of Jujutsu tournaments and stuff like that, which gave me funding for a lot of my money and or a lot of my businesses and stuff like that but mainly my clothing brand it gave me funding for that so that's why i had a little bit more funding but it didn't really matter in the end because i was just stupid and wasting my money i did my research and everything like that but just didn't have the skills to back it up i didn't have the discipline even though i am a martial artist and i had discipline but i didn't have the discipline towards uh my emotions my reactions you know what i mean just having negative reactions because my feet or my feedback on my work was just completely garbage like they would be saying like now nah, we're not buying this type thing or this could be good but you know what i mean it's too expensive or whatever or not so you it, it definitely definitely highly recommend doing your research and building your skills along the way that goes for your mind your soul your heart and just things that are outside of that like marketing and designing and actually things that relate to the business now keep in mind when it comes to research and, and skills there's a bunch of things that require research so that's for something you to figure out if you want to know how to start a clothing brand i have like a, a full guide on the channel it's like how to actually start a clothing brand in 2024 that will put you on the steps to figuring things out of course i don't make the decisions for you and stuff like that um but i do lead you in a direction where you can start very a very successful uh initial campaign the second tip is Take your time starting out, take your time. Don't try to rush things. Don't try to be stupid and try to make a, like a, a decision right away. Really think about your decisions. Really think, really think about why you're doing this. Really think about how to do this. Take your time, even though you have the answers to it. Take your time. I don't care if you already know how to do this. I don't care if you already have a reason for doing this. Take your time, slowly build it up. And there's a few things I do wanna talk about, about taking your time with. Um, Take a good time to design your products and start building up your brand. You know what I mean? Some Sometimes I will be straight up real with you guys. The chances of you building something unique is really, really low because there's a bunch of clothing brands. There's a bunch of things out there that already have that design you're thinking of. It might be slightly different, but the difference between your brand and your product and theirs is that they already making sales off of it. So who you just gonna come in the game and think you can have a similar design and beat them at their own game that doesn't make sense right of course if your product is very unique or it's just a better version of their product and if you have the mar right marketing skills and the right marketing uh strategies and everything else along with it um you can definitely beat them for sure you can definitely beat them but um yes but take a good time to actually design your products and start building up your brand um what i mean by building up your brand is simply because an overall good branding will lead to good and constant success that's mean this is a full timeline of success slowly going up or even if it goes down it'll go back up okay. let me give you a few examples if you do good branding and why it will be good and constant success you have better products compared to what you did before if you were just to make rush decisions or even decisions that didn't require a decent amount of time let's okay for example let's say you take one month to design a product that will be your initial start time right that's what you want that's the time length that you want i highly recommend taking another month or even two months after that to design that product yes it will cost money yes it would take a lot more time yes i know you want to build this brand and get this going yes all those things are understandable but if you truly truly want to be successful with your clothing brand or any or even any business in general I highly recommend taking a longer time period. Um, this will lead to a better product, just simply because the chance there's a higher chance that that product you took one month for 
is going to be a downgrade version of the product you did that you took three months for that three month product or that four month product is going to be way better than that first month product that one month product now these things will also lead to better conversion rate so more sales more website traffic all this other stuff this will be an overall better use of skills and better use of time but what do i mean by that is that simply because you're practicing you're actually putting the hours you're actually putting the time and these skills are getting better and better each month better and better and better and then you, next thing you know you're gonna be wrecking in that money baby you're gonna be wrecking in that money you know what i mean nobody wants to buy a copy and paste product so take your time actually develop a good product try to build your brand around an idea a concept or even anything else that remains true to yourself and your team or whatever you're who you're working with and stuff like that just for the simple fact that it's easier to interact with your brand it's better to interact with your brand when there's something connected to you something you found like something that you truly believe in you know what i mean not the brand itself but that concept of the brand for example my brand my clothing brand is around building a community i've done multiple videos about doing giveaways doing art competitions involving the community and decisions when it comes to designing and stuff like that i involve the community that is my idea and concept behind the brand the simple fact is just to connect your brand to something that you truly believe in and this will lead to better results in every category tip number three good customer service good customer service can lead to a better overall branding and image especially when it comes from uh, different customers and stuff like that there has been situations in the past where people just had really poor customer service and you know what i mean it, it leaves a bad mark on clothing brand owners and stuff like that so especially for certain brands they can have records of like just bad customer service and you know what i mean that spreads around people have word of mouth people just talk about it on reviews on social medias and stuff like that and high high chance that a lot of people who actually want to buy from the brand will hear something about it and then next thing you know you lost customers and all these other stuff you do not want that to happen to you please 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 have good customer service be sure to communicate with your customer well why do you want to do this because not only will it make them happy and make them feel safe but you have to sh it'll also build a trust between both of you guys a lot of my customers are returning customers and the fact is that I have built a strong trust with them not only through many forms of many forms of communication with the brand and just personal DMs for their orders and stuff like that and then give them free product and stuff like that too for returning and stuff like that but it's just you also want it's better to have a personal brand especially for sure for clothing brands especially in today's age uh, or like this today's time period it's just way better to have a personal brand I hope all businesses but there's multiple ways of doing this which I will get into later but I built a two-way trust you know I mean like a full-on trust relationship with a lot of my customers and that really spreads towards other customers and a lot of other customers know that other customers are like you know me trusted friends and stuff like that of the community and the the brand and stuff like that so they're like i want to get involved with that i love the clothes i love the brand why won't i get involved with it and then it just goes to the full momentum you know a giant snowball and it keeps going keep going keep going keep going keep going and that's the momentum that a lot of people and a lot of brands do not have uh myself and my team take steps to make them feel better in terms of feeling more happy and trusting us and even making them feel safe in terms of secured payments and stuff like that and of course secured payments are not the issue it's more about a hey, am i getting my order on time or anything like that so we do a bunch of things like screenshots of our orders like we do screenshots of our orders for example we have the packaging videos and stuff like that we'll send that to them and then screenshot of the manufacturers and messages and stuff like that and then screenshots of uh, like other um customer orders and stuff like that videos and stuff like that we'll send it to, of course we don't spread no addresses or anything like that because that's just freaking idiotic and stupid legal trouble is going to piece us up if we ever do that <laughs> um but honestly it just depends on the person and situation some people can be more suspicious than others some people can be more impatient than others so it just depends on your customer and who you're really talking to so do highly recommend knowing that um it's pretty obvious to determine what kind of person that is depending on what messages and dms they send you and stuff like that so um make sure you use the right strategies make sure you make them feel safe make sure you feel them make them feel happy and that would continue to help your brand and things you can't even imagine now there's a bunch of tools to help you in this process of customer service uh a good example would be sms programs the, these programs you just put it on your website they sign up for it and that's a good way to keep up to date with a bunch of like um 
customers and stuff like that because you can just send them updates, you can send them discounts, you can send them anything you want. It's just um very, very efficient tool and program to use. I highly recommend it. There's a bunch of out there. Um, honestly, it's just your preference and your choosing and your situation. I wouldn't say none of them are too good. Some of them are pretty good actually. Some of them are pretty good, but a lot of them are not really too bad either though. So it's just really on depending on your preference, what you're trying to do. But like I said, these programs will help you keep up to date with your customers. So you can send them updates and stuff like that. But do keep in mind that a lot of these, when you're starting off, a lot of these customers would not look at the updates. I guarantee you, they would not look at the updates, which is why customer service is very, very good. Um, you can put on your website, you can put it on your emails, you can put it on your social media, whatever you want. You can put that, oh, this is a pre-order, 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 pre-order. But customers won't look at that. They'll just look at the product and be, oh, that's a nice product. Let me buy that. Boom, buy it. Three days later, four days later, or even two days later, even sooner, they'll be like, hey, why am I getting my product? Like, you know what I mean? Because people are so adapt because of Amazon and Walmart and all this other stuff that have these really fast shipping times. Um, so they'll, a lot of people are impatient these days, especially when it comes to um, online shopping. So, you know what I mean? You have to communicate that well. You have to keep the customer entwined with everything and make sure it's good because I guarantee you they will refund that money so quick. And if they don't refund that money, you know what I mean? They'll just leave a negative experience a review on your clothing brand and that doesn't look good especially if you're starting off and you already have negative reviews and without any positives like you're already down basically in negative points and the last tip very very motivational and disciplined tip but you hear a bunch of people talk about this but it's honestly very very true just start just start trust me i can know the feeling of not wanting to start it will be hard. It is tough. It's not as easy as internet and social media and all this stuff trying to make it seem. It's not that easy. I highly recommend it just to start. If you truly want to do it, just start. And it's going to be life changing. Whether you make it or not, you you know that at least if you didn't make it, you tried. You didn't give up. You didn't lose that heart of your dream. You know what I mean? You failed. That doesn't mean you have to give up though. Do another strategy, do another method, do another whatever you have to. I fell by clothing brand six times before I made the seventh one. On my first time, oh, on my first try, I was so scared, bro. I knew that I wanted to do this. I knew I had money for my uh, jujitsu tournaments, but you know what I mean? Being a youngster, I was maybe about 15, 14 years old. I had money, I had aspirations, I had goals, but this money was not really being reloaded you know what I mean it wasn't like just like hey I'm gonna get more money after this this is a one-time thing so I really took a big risk you know what I mean I I trained years to get that money I've been training martial arts for 11 and a half years now so in the beginning it was maybe about six years until I got some tournament winnings and I took those tournament winnings and tried to start clone brand fell six times but on the seventh seventh try we got it mm -hmm. and that's why I highly recommend you just start you will build the skills to be successful you will learn stuff along the way. That's part of the journey. You will learn a lot stuff along the way about marketing, designing, uh, just business management and all that stuff, marketing or sales and stuff like that. Um, website designing and high conversion rates and like tech packs and measurements and manufacturer calls and how to get a better deal and all that stuff. You learn all that stuff along the way. Trust me. Now, I highly recommend doing research and at least getting an idea and a concept of it. But all the nick and grady details that you know what I mean people can tell you but it's just you just have to experience it yourself you just have to learn along the way but you will have great and powerful notes it's just a simple fact that if you truly truly want to do stuff like this you have detailed notes so those notes will back you up of course some of them can be wrong some of them can be very under under detailed and stuff like that but it's just for the fact that you have notes has already give you a push above the others just for the simple fact that a lot of people have notes but it's very monotone it sucks it's lazy the note taking strategies suck highly recommend doing that too taking notes taking strategy like note taking strategies will help you boost in every category just for the fact that your notes are organized and have an idea and you already know what page to turn to on the spot excellent 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 job but do keep in mind especially when you're starting your clover brand your first year even your mainly in your first year it just depends on the brand and how hard you're working and stuff like that but not everything's about money or numbers. Trust me, your first year, my first year, I had a very, very, I have a very, very good first collection drop sold out. Then my second collection drop on my first year just didn't sold out at all. I had maybe 30 purchases, which was not a lot. I was maybe selling them for maybe 
I was making very little profit at the time. Maybe about $40, $50. So $50, like 10 purchases, which seems like a lot, but I had a lot of expenses. So it kind of went down the drain. Um, but like I said, not everything's about the money or numbers. Especially in your first year, you're not going to really see crazy results unless you have some really trendy product or you're just really good at designing or you already, you already had a good time commitment. For example, before you even started a brand, you already had a year, two years already into the thing. And even then, you still have low numbers. Or even if you get lucky or if you were really smart about it or you had the right timing, things can change. That could be different. But just for the simple fact that most people would not see the larger amount of numbers or even the decent amount of numbers they want to see and the money and their first year or even later on after that. So not everything is about money. Um, put in good effort passion and quality into your brand and you'll make it trust me if you are thinking a lot about money you'll be very disappointed just for the fact that you are thinking about that uh you might not be able to make a lot of good decisions you know what i mean your your decisions will be influenced by negative uh reactions and negative concepts like low numbers and stuff like that so i highly recommend to actually build that that's why i said the first uh basically that's why i said in the first tip is like Build your skills, control your reactions, con build discipline. You know what I mean? Because if you truly, truly believe that you can make it, and then you truly believe that you want to be a clothing brand owner, this is these these things are something you just have to have. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person saying this because it's a fundamental concept that not everything will go your way. That's how life is. You know what I mean? The people that become successful are the ones that stay constant, stay disciplined, and love it. You just love the journey, you love the process, you love the difficulty. You know what I mean? A good example would be these type of games, Elden Ring, you know what I mean? Um, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, all those games are just tough, tough, tough. You lose, lose, fail, 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 but you win one. And then once you win that one, repeat the process. Yes, you'll learn stuff along the way. Yes, you'll get better, you have better tools, whatever you want to call it, but you will fail. And then once you make it, Keep that momentum and then even if you were to fall off that momentum just repeat the process again fell 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 and there's a whoa that one going win keep that momentum keep going and even when you do those small wins celebrate the small wins for example uh taking extra time to design your product and you actually think that's a good product that's a small win you know I me mean? Uh, getting review from your friend even though he's not buying it you know what I mean he says oh that's a really nice hoodie and it's not bias it's not a biased opinion or anything like that and you know what I mean that's a small win uh, there's just a bunch of things that be considered small wins you know what I mean and I highly recommend celebrating the small wins but that's it for this video uh, leave comments down below if you have questions like I said before, if you actually want to start a clothing brand, I have a guide. I have a full guide, 30 minute guide, a very good note taking session. Um, this will help you in every category and everything you can think of from manufacturers to marketing to just simple branding like your image or your like your logos, your name, all this other stuff. Um, of course, I don't make the decisions for you. It's not, it's not like I'm just giving you a, a step by step. Oh, do this step one, step two, step three, like a recipe. Yes, it's a step by step guide, but it's more or less you have to make your own decisions yourself. This is your brand, not mine. So you're going to have to make those decisions for yourself. But there's a bunch of things I talk about on there, like marketing, uh, different types of marketing, organic, paid, influencer, community marketing. Um, you know, main, there's manufacturers, how to get better deals, where to get manufacturers from um stuff like vocabulary like tech packs and stuff like that if you're you know what i mean just really really good things for clothing brand owners or if you just want to become a clothing brand owner or want to start a clothing brand or even slightly interested and you want to you just need more videos to see if this is for you i highly recommend watching that video i will leave it in the description below and i'll leave it in the comments as well thank you guys for watching and i hope you have an amazing amazing day and remember life can be difficult none of these things are easy but the people who become successful are the ones who are disciplined and stay consistent.